The miracle happened to me. I'm still blown away by it. My name is Catherine, and um, I founded a nonprofit. Our motto is Be a Voice for Life. For many years, I have I get laryngitis, and it's like it happens like at least once or twice a year. And this past week, I had really bad flu, and my, I, I lost my voice. I had not been able to speak. It was like coming in and out, and it was it was like difficult. And last night, I saw our pastor, and I saw Father Thomas, and I said, "Well, I." Through my laryngitis, I said, um, Father Thomas, can you please like help? Like, like I keep getting laryngitis. I have laryngitis, and I think it's a little ironic that here I am. You know, like our motto is "Be a voice for life," and I've lost my voice. And so, can you please pray over me? And you know, do I mean, isn't that a little funny? And so he said, you know what? Yes, that might be. There may be something to it. Maybe something a little more. So um, he took me outside, and then we faced our Lord in um, at, in the Adoration Chapel. You know, like cause we always want to face our Lord, and he started praying over me, and I started feeling like something was like tugging at, like like something's something is a little strange. So, and I told him, well, like whispered to him, and he said, okay, hold on, let me get someone else. And, and so he brought in Richard to be like praying over me as well, and and they started praying over me, and it was. It's so strange. Now, I know this is my body, but it was so strange because I started feeling something in my throat. It, in my throat, started getting angry. Like, like there was some like anger or something in my throat. And that was so strange. And then my knees started feeling a little weird. And, and then something felt like it like, like snapped or popped and like tugged. It's very strange. And it like went out of my throat. And I just like, and I had to say like, I think I'm better now. And I couldn't believe it. I heard my voice. And I had to take a step back like, whoa, I just heard my voice. And I had to say it again, like, I think I'm better now. And there was my voice, clear. And here I am still the day after, clear. Like, I mean, yes, I have a little bit of a nose cold, but it's my voice. And I don't have laryngitis anymore. And I'm, I'm so grateful to God that we know miracles happen. But to be able to have this miracle happen <laughs> and I'm able to continue doing my work and I get to work with these wonderful teenagers and, and wonderful pro-life people and then here I am with my voice back and I'm just so grateful and I just, I just hope everyone is able to have an opportunity that if you're ill and, and you need a little bit of assistance turn to a healing minister and um, if you're in the area I know Father Thomas and he has a team and like they can help you with like your healing it I, it's incredible so um I still can't believe it I mean I believe it but it's still like wow yeah so um I'm glad to I'm grateful just grateful to God thank you